everyone, this is Miss Alyssa at Clark County Public Library, and welcome to our Little Sprout story time. Our story time for our preschool age kids, generally about three to five years old. Um, and today, uh, I've got quite a thing to tweet about, um, because we're going to be talking about birds. Um, so, uh, I would like to say that I am reading these stories today uh, with permission from Simon & Schuster Publishers. And let's get into it. Sorry if this is a bit out of the blue because I am winging it. Mm. These are the dad jokes, kids. Anyway, so our first story is called Bird Song by Betsy Franco and Steve Jenkins and published by Simon & Schuster. Specifically, their Margaret K. McEldery books imprint. Bird Songs by Betsy Franco and Steve Jenkins. Do you ever listen to the birds sing? Well, this is all about the songs that they make. The sky is quiet. The yard is quiet. The creek is quietly gurgling. The rising sun turns the sky from black to gray to pink to blue. In the front yard, a red-headed woodpecker is working on a whole pot pine tree. He wraps a tap dance with his beak, pecking ten times as he looks for breakfast bugs. Tap, 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 tap. Can you do that sound? A morning dove lands on the telephone wire and folds its gray wings. More doves find places in line. Then they dive down to share the sunflower seeds under the bird feeder, cooing to one another nine times. Coo, 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 coo. A flutter, a flurry, a flapping of hungry house sparrows. The sparrows crowd around the bird feeder and poke one another out of the way, filling the air with eight sharp notes. Each one wants to be first in line. Chip, 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 chip. The sun is high in the sky now. The bonds of the cloud are fringed with gray. A white goal from the bay circles over the front yard in the creek. Its mouth on white. The goal warns and nags seven times that rain is coming. A black-capped chickadee chimes in six times for a branch of the apple tree. Dee, 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 dee. More and more chickadees join her until the tree looks like a candelabra. They fly off in mitts on when the tabby cat starts climbing. Whoop. A short rain shower. Dressed in shiny green suits, mallards in the creek discuss the weather. The goal was right, they say quacking five times in agreement. Quack, 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 quack. A crow listens in, tottering along the creek fence. When he takes off, he looks too large to fly, but his broad black wings carry him up as he squawks four times. Caw, 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 caw. The sun is low now. Back on the maple tree next to the house, the robin, heavy with eggs, Sells herself into her nest of bark and grass. She softly sings three notes. <laughs> Late for dinner, a thrasher struts around the garden. He digs up the ground under the bushes with his curved bill. He congratulates himself two times when he finds a patch of ants and grubs. Troop, troop. A hummingbird sucks one last treat from the trumpet-shaped honeysuckle in the garden. Her wings look like a helicopter propeller. She makes one tiny sound in her high voice. As the sun sets, it's quiet in the sky. It's quiet in the yard. It's quiet in the gurgling creek where the moon is reflected in the ripples. Until the mockingbird begins to sing from the pine tree. She copies all the songs that she heard during the day. Tat, chip, chip, 
Ted Chuck 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 Yeah Caw Caw Zzz Quack Coo Coo Yeah Tap Tap Tee 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 Me and That was a fun story. Now I've got another one. What's the other thing that birds are known for? Making nests. So, this is the nest that Robin built by Denise Fleming and published by Simon and Schuster. This is the nest that Robin built with a little help from her friends by Denise Fleming. This is the squirrel who trimmed the twigs not too big that anchor the nest that Robin built. This is the dog who brought the string, law and his drawn, that rough from the twigs not too big that anchor the nest that Robin built. This is the horse who shared his straw, rough and tough, that covers the string, law and his drawn, that rough from the twigs not too big that anchor the nest that Robin built. This is the pig who makes the mud soft, not soupy, that plasters the straw, rough and tough, that covers the string, lawn and drawn, that rests on the twigs, not too big, that anchor the nest that Robin built. This is the mouse who gathered the weeds dotted with seeds that bind the mud soft, not soupy, that plasters the straw, rough and tough, that covers the string, lawn is drawn, that rests on the twigs, not too big, that anchor the nest that Robin built. This is the rabbit who picked the grass, fresh and sweet, that cushions the weeds, dyed with seeds, that bind the mud, soft and soupy, that plusters the straw, rough and tough, that covers the string, long and strong, that rests on the twigs, not too big, that anchor the nest that Robin built. These are the eggs, brittle and blue, that lay on the grass, fresh and sweet, that cushion the weeds, dyed with seeds, that bind the mud, soft and soupy, that plusters the straw, rough and tough, that covers the stream, long and strong, that wraps on the twigs, not too big, that anchor the nest that Robin built. These are the nestlings, tufted with pink, that crack the eggs, brittle and blue, that lay on the grass, fresh and sweet, that cushion the weeds, dyed with seeds, that bind the mud, soft and soupy, that plusters the straw, rough and tough, that covers the string, long and strong, that rests on the twigs, not too big, that anchor the nest that Robin built. Okay. And this is the Robin who built the nest. Anchored with twigs, not too big, wrapped with string, long and strong, covered with straw, rough and tough, plastered with mud, soft and soupy, bound with weeds, dyed with seeds, cushioned with grass, fresh and sweet, who laid the eggs, brittle and blue, cracked by nestlings, stuffed in pink. Now again, fledging, ruffled and rough, ruffled and ruffled, ready to fly. Ready to fly. Good. Bye. There they go. The end. All right. Are you all ready for a song? Um, so one of the things I mentioned that birds eat are ants. So we're gonna do The Ants Go Marching by Eric Flipwin. All right, and if you got something you wanna shake, that you want to like go to the beat go and do that i think i'm just gonna march though so the ants go marching one by one hurrah hurrah the ants go marching one by one hurrah hurrah the ants go marching one by one the little one stuck his thumb and they all go marching down, down to the ground to get out of the rain. Boom, boom, boom. The ants go marching two by two. Hurrah, hurrah. The ants go marching two by two. Hurrah, hurrah. The ants go marching two by two. The little ones stop to tie his shoe and they all go marching down to the ground. To get out of the rain, boom, boom, boom. The ants go marching three by three, hurrah, hurrah. The ants go marching three by three, hurrah, hurrah. The ants 
go marching three by three. The, the little one starts to shake his knee, and they all go marching down to the ground to get out of the rain. Boom, boom, boom. The ants go marching four by four. Hurrah, hurrah. The ants go marching four by four. the floor. They all go marching down to the ground to get out of the rain. Alrighty then. One last thing I have for you is a little crap. So if you have some construction paper or um, some printer paper that you can color on, um, trace uh, your handprints and uh, cut them out. Maybe your big person will have to help you, but this should help your fine motor skills. And then cut out some legs and a beak, and then you can give it some eyes, and you can have your own very own bird. And I do want to mention that um, we are doing summer reading this year. It's all through the month of July, but it's a bit different because we are doing it online. So um, if you read a book, or if your big person reads a book to you, or if you listen to the story time, it counts. Um, so just send how long uh, you have been read to or have read um, to children's summer reading at ccplohio.org um, and we will keep track of how long uh, you have done it and you may win a few prizes um, anyway thank you so much for coming see you next time <laughs>